This is the story of how one company built an industry from the ground up, leaving everyone else behind. Now this video may anger, frustrate or confuse you, but I politely ask that you watch the video to the end before you comment. This is how Sony built the mirrorless revolution. Sony's mirrorless camera success is much like the success of Apple in the late 90s. Apple had been focusing on professionals, creating hardware and software for the top professionals in the world. They built the best computers and most powerful software, a strategy that worked, but only partially. In 1997, few people were buying Apple products. Hello, I'm a Mac. Hello, I'm a PC. They were failing. At the same time, Microsoft created groundbreaking success by creating things for the masses. Apple sold tens of thousands of products. Microsoft sold millions. But in 1997, things changed. Apple launched their consumer computer and leapt feet first into the consumer world. Apple's new products were nearly all the things professionals wanted, but packaged for consumers. And this changed the game. In 2001, Apple dominated another industry. We stopped hearing about portable music devices. Instead, we just spoke about Apple's iPod. Apple was dictating the industry and Sony's infamous Walkman just disappeared into the dust. Six years later in 2007, they hit a home run with the iPhone. Smartphones were around, but only really used by business professionals. Apple delivered to the consumer and they delivered fast. Later, with the additions like the iPad and Apple Watch, other companies just struggled to keep up. Apple had flipped the trend. They had learned that consumer was king and they capitalized. Each product having almost yearly updates allowed for huge revenue growth, which in turn funded research and development and most importantly, quick feature upgrades and releases. This put them on top. Now, if you're not an Apple fan, keep watching because there's more to come. Everything Apple looked cool and sleek. They created hype and desire. The products themselves looked so great that people obsessed taking photographs of the products themselves. Apple created leaks and stories about what might be coming next. They found out how to market within the world of social media. They innovated at every step, creating products for the next generation by pushing boundaries, creating new technologies, and of course, making mistakes along the way. Through all of this, Apple became the most profitable company in American history, worth more than $1 trillion. Well, this is the Sony of the last five years. They took command of a new industry, the mirrorless camera world, and focused on the consumer first. Like Apple, this world already existed, but Sony dominated. Like Apple, they created hype, launched products almost yearly, and creating a marketing storm every time. Their products looked good. No, their products looked incredible. Sony built a community of people who wanted to show off they had Sony mirrorless cameras. Sony focused on the new world. Their products were socially viable. Search for a Sony A7S camera on Instagram and you see hundreds of photographs of the camera itself. The perfect marketing. Companies like Nikon and Canon just haven't capitalized on this. When was the last time you saw a great photograph of a Nikon or Canon camera? Nobody does it. Sony has beautiful, sharp, shiny, sleek edges. They look strong, angular, sexy. They look like the new shooter, the young, the hip, and the early adopters. Search for one of the latest Nikon or Canon cameras and you just see photos taken by the camera, not of the camera itself. You might be thinking, well, they are cameras and image quality is what matters. Wrong. Nikon and Canon are companies. Sales is what matters. Remember Apple in 1997? If you don't bring in the money, you can't fund research and development, you won't stay relevant, and your business fails. In the past, companies dictated to the consumer what they should want. Sony was different. People said to Sony, we want better focusing. They did it. Better batteries, done. Five axis sensor stabilization, done. Perfect first time? Not always, but hey, they were listening, trying, and often delivering. Just sitting back and saying, we've done this for a hundred years just isn't good enough. We, the consumer, don't care what you did. We care about what you're doing. Today, you can create the world's best DSLR, but mirrorless is what everyone is talking about. It's like launching a Sony Walkman with the latest tech when everyone's talking about the iPod. 
Cameras are going to go mirrorless, and that's why Sony is currently winning. Apple doesn't necessarily make the best smartphones, but they are the company who drove the industry forward, forcing innovation and creativity. Now we have Samsung and Google and Huawei and many others fighting to be at the top of the smartphone industry. Who knows who's on top and who really cares? We, the consumer, have won. No matter what company you buy from, our smartphones are more advanced today than we could have ever imagined 10 years ago. I think this is the next era for mirrorless cameras. In fact, cameras on a whole. More competition, driving innovation, pushing technological boundaries. The more players in the game, the faster the innovation. Thanks to Sony, we are going to see the fastest technological advancement in digital photography we have ever seen. With more companies bringing out mirrorless systems, we'll start seeing features we could never have dreamt about. We'll see companies fail, see products fail, but we will see the bar raised higher, leaps made larger, and progress made faster. Thank you, Sony, for starting the mirrorless revolution. And thank you to all the companies who are about to challenge you. Who knows who will stay on top? For me? Well, I don't care. I'm just thankful for the companies who fight amongst themselves so that we, the humble consumer, can use the most technologically advanced camera systems the world has ever seen. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com.